Hey guys, me here again. Um, I know it's like really late, or like early for like most of you, but this time I'm going to be reviewing, oh, if I can get this, Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I really enjoyed this book. Um, it was really good. I rated it an 8.5 out of 10. <sighs> what else was I going to say? This will be a no spoilers review. So, on to the synopsis. A sacred oath, a fallen angel, a forbidden love. Romance was not part of Nora Gray's plan. She's never been particularly attracted to the boys at her school, no matter how hard her best friend, V, pushes them at her. Not until Patch comes along. With his easy smile and eyes that seem to see inside her, Patch draws Nora to him against her better judgment. But after a series of terrifying encounters, Nora's not sure whom to trust. Patch seems to be everywhere she is and seems to know more about her than her closest friends. She can't decide whether she should fall into his arms or run and hide. When she tries to seek some answers, she finds herself near a truth that is way more unsettling than anything Patch makes her feel. For she is right in the middle of an ancient battle between the immortal and those who have fallen. And, when it comes to choosing sides, the wrong choice will cost Nora her life. So, as you can tell from the cover, it's about angels. Particularly fallen angels. So... The whole supernatural bit in this is, like, really nice, and I liked it. Um, but let's go on with the, um, plot. Um, Nora is in bio class, and then their teacher, um, switches their seats. And so she meets a guy named Patch, who becomes her, um, partner in bio. And things get a little rocky in the first, like, part, um... Because of her, because she, how much she hates Patch and how he is and everything. He's not, like, cooperative at all. Because of their, because they have to, like, work together in bio. And then she and V, her best friend, meet Elliot and Jules. Who are, like, I don't know, really mysterious. Um, trans, one of them transfer from Kinghorn Prep. And so it's, like... Um, a little questionable there. So. Anyway. V keeps, like, I don't know. V, her character, completely frustrated me. Because of how much she kept doing these things that are were, like, really stupid seeming at the time. So it was like, will you please just stop it? And, like, shut up. Uh, anyway, as the story goes on, there are these um, terrifying things that happen. She, um, Nora gets stalked, um, almost attacked. She was going to be, like, she was attacked by a person who, well, she, she wasn't attacked um, directly, though. V, who was um, wearing her jean jacket in one of the scenes, was attacked. And then, um, an old lady who was wearing her coat, <clears throat> Nora's, um, was, um, attacked, too. So, it's like, she, Nora's the one that's mostly targeted. But, um, there's more than one bad guy in this, though. Um, I'm not gonna say much more. But, it's just, not everything is as it appears to be. Anyway, I really like this first book in the Hush Hush Saga. Um, the next book is Crescendo, I believe. And I heard from a lot of people, well, mostly my friends, they hated Crescendo. It's like the first book was great, Crescendo was horrible, but then the next two are good. And I'm like, I'll try to get through it, but I'm not really too sure. Um, that's all I really have to say. I'm sorry it's, like, so vague of a review, um, this time, but I'm, like, dead. It's two in the morning. So, anyway, the next book I'm going to be reading is Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. I did a book review of this over a year ago 
for Vampire Academy, um, the first book. So you guys can go check that out on my channel. Anyway, if you guys actually have read the Hush Hush um, saga, the first, it could be the first book, the entire saga, tell me what you think down in the comments below. And favorite and like this video, and subscribe up top. Anyway, till next time, bye!